Hospital in Ambali has rapidly intensified over the nighttime hours this evening, and at 3 a.m. Mauritius time this December the 6th, it has winds of 160 miles per hour and an estimated pressure of 927 millibars on our latest satellite estimates. This storm is still intensifying at this point. On the CDPS scale, not much has changed, however, the storm is still expected to rapidly deteriorate before affecting any land areas. Some ground in the only location on the CDPS at the moment at a stage 1 minor impact expected, with rainfall amounts of up to 50 millimetres. Here's the storm's current position at 10.3 degrees south, 62.2 degrees east. Um, and a Category 5 storm on the Sapper Simpson scale. It's uh, explosively intensified over the evening hours. It's 385 miles from Agalega, 469 from St. Grandin, 647 from Tromelin, 656 from Rodrigues, and 749 from Port Louis, Mauritius. At this point, there are two systems active, but no warnings in effect for either of them. The other system, Belna, could intensify rapidly as it approaches Madagascar as well, and certainly can't be ruling out another major cyclone from that storm as well. As for the current storm, though, Ambali expected to continue its gradual motion towards a southerly direction over the next uh, couple of days at least, and then it will probably... Um, destroy itself I suppose and then eventually its remnants will uh, gradually meander towards the southwest as we get towards the end of the forecast period. You can see that pink trail there of rainfall just dissipates really and the rest of the storm's trail is hard to distinguish. On the left hand side you can see the track of Belna as well moving through Madagascar where it could strike as a significant cyclone, much higher rainfall amounts over those land areas there that we're looking at as well. Sea surface temperatures ahead of these storms then around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius, 29 off the coast of Madagascar, but Ambali temperatures will decrease after around day two. And this is the forecast for both of these storms as well, although I wouldn't put much stock into this particular graphic anymore because it's so far lagging behind what the reality is of this storm. You can see there it's already dissipated Ambali by Saturday. That most likely is not going to happen given how much this storm has intensified and you can just saw there on early Monday a possible hurricane equivalent landfall in Madagascar as well and that intensity could be up on the forecast later on too. However, despite that, the chances remain low of tropical storm force winds in these locations. 35% at St. Brandon, that has risen a little bit, but still only 10% at Rodrigues, 10% on Mauritius, and 5% on the island of Reunion. No other areas expecting tropical storm force winds from Ambali. Uh, of course, the other storm will also be having their own impact elsewhere. So as you can see, this is how far the models are behind. They should be way up there near the top of the graph by now, but they are not. Wind shear remains fairly low. It will start to rise a little bit, so its intensification phase will probably taper off in the next 12 hours, we hope. Sea surface temperatures still remaining warm, however, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. And the models are starting to get a little bit better consensus there on where it's going to go, at least compared to earlier today. This is the last 12 hours of the storm's explosive intensification phase. Recent images showing an eye temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, which is I think among the top three this year worldwide, believe it or not. Surrounded by minus 70s cloud tops, which is easily justifiable of Category 5 status. There is potentially a little weakness in the eye wall still at this point, which is preventing the storm from being stronger than what we're currently indicating, but we could see further intensification before weakening begins by the weekend. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. 
You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.